Hey guys, it's Buddy702 here, and welcome back to the year of 2020. It has been quite some time since I've uploaded a video, 25th of December of last year, since I upgraded, uploaded a Skyrim episode, and it has been nearly seven, just over seven months since I've uploaded a say Skyrim, Minecraft episode. And the update that I played in was 1.13.2, and... I've just joined Minecraft again, and I've not played it in that amount of time. But the update I've now joined is 1.15.2, and it looks like there is a honeybee in the top, I suppose, left corner. As you can see, there's no worlds on here. Is there anything on multiplayer? During online play, you may be exposed to chat messages or other types of user-generated content that has not been rated, and you may not be suitable for all ages. Proceed. Never seen that before. Whoops, hopefully this thing hasn't popped up. Let's just click that there. And it looks like I have no games on your local network. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I've got all my old servers I used to be a part of. I can't remember their IPs. Hopefully when I add in the lovely when I add in all my content back onto here, like all my world downloads, it should be here. So let's turn that volume down and let's get into just a look around the world, I suppose. Let's jump right in. Now that I've fixed up the volume, let's dive in to a single player world. And I've also got the cursor on screen. Since we've got nothing here, let's go create new world. And let's go. Oh. 2020 exploring the world I think that's right more world options let's just keep it all default create new world and this episode is going to be about I'm not sure if you can see that square huh that is very interesting I've never seen this happen before that's pretty cool was it what what is it exactly doing <laughs> So this is going to be a quick episode, or I don't know if I'm calling it an episode, it's just really exploring the world. And seeing everything that's new really, it might go on for some time, might do some time jumps in that there. I'm just curious what this thing is, it's just a white square. Okay, so it looks like, ooh, whoa, you feel that frame right there, assuming F3 still. How do I open up? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So 1.15. I'm just trying to see. Jeez. Let's see, not even frames. I might need to go into my settings and adjust a few things. So I'm normally used to playing with Optifine and that type of things. Okay, I think we've got a stable 30 frames at the moment. I'm normally used to a heat more, but I can knock here Optifine. And also, the whole settings layout has changed, which is pretty interesting. But anyway, let's... Oh, okay. Oh, yep, we've got my lovely little skin on, which I've not seen in such a long time. My lovely belt in the middle is from my first original server, the Mushroom Co. And it is actually coming up... Ooh, what year are you? 2020. It's coming up eight years since I've had Minecraft. Or oh, purchase the account, which is incredible. How quick time flies, and I'm just trying to figure out how to work everything. So let's start off with the, a normal Minecraft thing of punching a tree. Oh, it feels so satisfying doing that there. Collecting the lovely wood. And I'm planning to try and get some more videos out. I've just got plenty of things going on with life right now. So we're punching the trees here, and... Brings back memories punching the trees. <laughs> At least there's no lag with blocks. And I suppose we go into the crafting. Craft that there. Craft our crafting bench. And place it down. And oh yeah, I forgot about this one here. Let's create some sticks. Um, what else do we do? We go like this here, I think. 
create a sword. Let's create a shovel. Let's create a lovely wooden pick as well. And create ourselves a lovely stone thing, whatever it's called. A wooden axe. Oh, this feels so slow compared to using... Oh, what? What's that? Is that... Oh, they've got... I forgot about auto jump. That is such an... That's an irritating thing. I don't know why they added that in. But let's just chop away some wood. I might just chop away a bit of trees around here and just grab a bit of resources. And Jeez, it's pretty sensitive. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and grab a couple bits of resources and I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. Now something new I have noticed is that, I can't push C to zoom in, but trees drop sticks now. That is great. It's heaps easier than having to craft them up. So I'm not sure when that there was introduced, but that's pretty good. As you can see, I've got a little bit of wood here. So I thought we need to go down and try and get a little bit of stone or something so we can at least craft some better tools as that's all you need to survive at the beginning of a world always good to get better tools anyway so i think i might go ahead and just try and get ourselves a couple iron tools and then i'll be back for you guys and we will explore the world because well yeah, we need to find out stuff, and I'm pretty sure nothing's surely been updated underneath the ground. Because I'm aware of all underwater ravines and that, because 1.13 was the aquatic update, or 1.13 was. I'm just not too sure of any other updates after that. Oh, it gets dark pretty quick. You might not even be able to see anything. I can't even see anything. Anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be back with you guys very soon again. It's going to be a bit like that. Okay, what I just want to point out is that I've just found a lovely cave down here. Oh, a lovely mine shaft. That is pretty great. But what looks very different to me is that have they updated the granite? It's granite, isn't it? I've been mining some granite because it looks completely different. The stone texture even looks different, I think. Granite and andesite look completely different. Not sure if they're upgraded or not, but they just look a little bit different to me. And yes, we've just found some iron, which is lovely. So as soon as we get the basic supplies, it's good to start exploring. I thought we need to get some survivability rate done up before we... Oh, run out of torches. Let's just chuck those in there. Oops, no, 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 no. Jeez, you're a bit leaf, aren't you, mate? Don't want to die too early. <laughs> I spoke a bit too soon. Oh no. It is dark and scary. Um. Okay, it's clear. His tree's cleared around here. Oops, I hear a spider. I'm going back underground. I'm too much of a wuss to die right now. Oh, it took so long to dig down here. You miss Fortune 5 at the top of things. Oh no, I'm going to have to fight a skeleton again, aren't I? Okay, let's go find where my supplies are gone. Where's my... Oh, where's my... There we go. It's better. Let's chuck the torches up here and light up this little cave. And do we have enough? We nearly have enough for bits and pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I might. Is that another skeleton down there? I'm going to do a quick more exploring, get some more iron, and I'll be back with you guys soon. I'm not sure if I can speed this up or not. Let's go into a very quick little time lapse sort of thing, if you can even call it that. Let's go.
Hello, it's me everyone. Hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far. It has been quite some time since I've done one and I hope you guys are enjoying how it is going so far. It's a lot of repeating of things, but it is going well. Well, it's going pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video and there's going to be a couple more quick speed up bits through here, but I'll cut out most of the boring things while I show you guys what it's like to explore the new 1.15.2 world. Enjoy. Now this is a great little fine little spider spawner. I'm not going to use it for XP, I'm just going to mine it up myself. So not find too much in the chest. A little bit boring so far, just try not to die, just trying not to. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to do that, go back to normal. Oi, no. Just... Oh shit. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Um, I don't want to die yet. Uh, but I think I might need to eat some. I might try and just cook up some. I might just try and cook up some raw land. Can I use Ross and Flesh's fuel? No, I cannot. Let's just try and cook up some food. <laughs> Oh, I've got so much junk in my inventory so far. I'm just trying to get those lovely tasty diamonds. What level am I at? Level 14. I want to try and at least get a few diamonds and then we'll try and get out there and try and explore this new world and see what it has in for me. Like the be seeing the bees and villages and whatever else has been introduced to the game that I'm not aware of. There we go. Let's may as well try and smelt up some more of the lovely iron that I have accumulated. Whereabouts are you gone, skeleton? Not here. Oh, there's two of you. Oh, and we have found ourselves some lovely, what's it called, <laughs> lovely redstone. So hopefully we have got some diamonds around here somewhere. Let's just let, hang on, let's add in a few more bits of coal there. And let that there smelt up while we explore around here. Jeez, I'm so used to it. Struggling with pushing the buttons at the moment. Let's quickly light this area up so that I don't get swamped by some lovely mobs and that there. And it's always good to have a ha bucket handy in your hotbar because you never know when you're going to fall into some lovely pesky lava. There we go, at the first lovely red stuff of this new update. So let's just quickly clear that there out, chuck in a torch there. You can never over torch, well you can, you can now, but in the old updates you, <laughs> you couldn't have enough torches. So let's just jump around here and click some more redstone. Sorry to interrupt this quick little time lapse, but I'm sorry about the F3 screen being open. I completely forgot about that, so you're going to see it in the video for the next few, five, ten minutes. Sorry about that. Enjoy the rest of your time lapse. Here we go folks, we've just rolled over to the second day of being on this world, and that's probably about 40 minutes, I suppose, 20 day, 20 night, if it works like that, I can't exactly remember the time, how it rolls around, and I have still not discovered any diamonds. You can see the tunnel goes on quite a fair way that way, but... I'm pretty sure 11 or 12 is the right height to mine it. I just haven't seemed to found a single one. And yes, I have been mining in the exact same one row, but it's been very unsuccessful. I, th I just decided to myself I'm going to mine in one big line until I find some diamonds, and as soon as I do, I'll head back up to the surface to start exploring, but it hasn't been too successful so far. 
<laughs> My inventory is getting pretty full of junk. It's just taking a long time. My pick's probably going to run out before I actually find diamonds. Ah, this is so painful. I always struggle to find diamonds. Oh, look, some more redstone yet again. But I always mine out the ores and that. Because you never know if there's going to be some diamonds hiding behind them. Can I pick you up? Okay, let's get rid of the stone pickaxe. No, I want I want redstone. Oh, I've got some gold there. I never pick up gold because I don't find a single use for it at all. Well, there is some things that... You, well, powered browse is the only thing you use gold for, but I normally get those from, like, pig, pig pigmen farms and all that type of stuff. But, yeah, it's just... Not much use for gold. And it has run out. So I'm going to pop back to where I've been located. And then we can pop up to the surface. And explore the world of 1.15.2. I'll see you guys on the surface world. Now that we're back on the surface. I thought I need to give myself a little sheet of iron. Before we go and do our little adventure. And make sure I've got ourselves enough torches. So that goes, that should get us up to 62, which is pretty good. And I suppose we could craft some of our lovely iron into some blocks just to use up a little bit less space in the inventory. And I think there has been some changes, so you can no longer make nice slabs and even wood I think how do I get those back into there I think you have to craft up some stone grinder or something now so a smoker that's for fish in there I see there's a lovely crossbow or oh, quite a bit of a component set there that's a new item that I've never oh, I've seen hermits play use those on hermit craft but I've never used it myself a cartography table to make maps in that I suppose um, a smithing table for tools a loom for whatever a loom is used for barrels which I've storing stuff in now a campfire I think those there look pretty cool lanterns look amazing what else is new to the game a cauldron that's been in the game for a long time but campfires are quite nice I'm not sure if you can cook anything on them but campfires are look like an amazing addition to the game so we need to head off in a direction I'm not even sure where the Sun is at this stage so that there is where am I looking at we're looking at west so I thought we need we might just add in the easty eastland easterly direction and hopefully find us another sheep that we can murder and then we can get ourselves a bed to sleep through these lovely nights since I can no longer run and try and get ourselves some lovely food as well so far it's a few different changes to the game but the one main, big main change that I have never really played around with is the villager trading system. A lovely fire flower biome through here. It's getting darker and getting darker. And all I've done is really spend my time mining in this update. Haven't really found any villagers. Oh, there's a cow. Oh, and there's some more ores and a lovely little cave down there. And then we've got the lovely swimming ability through here. Where's that? I want that meat, so let's get rid of... I suppose we can get rid of some andesite. And... I, ooh. Ah, I forgot, I forgot about ships. I completely forgot they even existed on here. Um... Now, is there anything in here? Oh! Now that... 
there is a great amount of, I suppose you call iron. So I might just craft it up and try and figure some room in my inventory. I'm not sure if there's any more chests and that type of stuff in here. Let's just um, control, control Q that there out for the time being. And let's craft that up into some lovely ingots. Into some of that there. Craft. Oops. Craft that into some blocks. And let's may as well take the chest as well. You can never you can never have too much in the early days of Minecraft. And what else is pretty much practically loose? Oh, spider eye, we don't need that at this stage of the game. Now I'm not sure if there's at all, there is another chest. Some potatoes. Might take that there. And let's get rid of that there. And take the chest. Why do I keep having the F3 open? Oh. Is there another chest in here? Why can't I open that? Uh, oh, buried treasure map. Wonderful. Oh, geez, that is some fair distance away. And icebergs, that is a... That's a, um, addition I've seen before. Anyway, it's coming to be dark and scary, so... Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. I don't want to die in the night. I think I might just continue exploring around until I find something interesting or get a little bit more... Oops, no, there's a spider there. There's spiders and creepers and I do not like this at all. I do not like the darkness. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go over this way here. If there's anything else scary through here, I'm just going to have to... Creepers, spiders, spruce biome over here. I don't want to die. Anyway, I think I might just hop around and see what I can... T Oops, I hear a sheep. I'm going to go get slaughter that sheep. And once I have created myself a bed, I'll see you guys very soon. Oh, just got myself a lovely little... Doggy first go, let's see if I can get another one. It'll be... There we go. Got two little friends there that can help me out. Hopefully they should help protect me from any zombies and that type of thing. And I'm just getting some lovely lamb cooked up there, so I have the ability to run again. That is lovely, and let's... Oh, what? Oh, go away. Oops, sorry, doggy. Nasty little thing. Anyway, it's going to cook up some more food. And something new that I notice is respawn point set. Now, I've never... I can't remember that being a part. You're going to hear that quite a bit. So let's add that there to the furnace. Add that mutton into there. And then we are set to continue to explore. Hopefully I can find a village or something like that there soon. Here we go, people just found a lovely village. And, it, and they've updated the village style, which is pretty cool. That's how it blends in with the lovely acacia bar. Oh, it's a huge village. Hello. What does that mean? Okay. <laughs> Terracotta here. Can I open you up? <laughs> okay. Some lovely little flags. Or little chest settle. Some lovely bread. Cauldrons in here. At least I've added some little upper styles. Oh, this is cool. 
Let's get some more emeralds there. Seeds. What, do they all have little chests in, there, in them? Lovely little breads. So how do I... So is there no way I can talk to you guys? Okay then. Little decorations out here. So it got a little lick. Is it called a lectern? I don't know. I don't know what that thing. Yeah, something book sand. Lovely little hay bales. Or a little tiny garden. Anything added in? Nope. Nice and safe, so they don't drown in there. We have got another bed. We've got a lovely iron golem here. What else have we got on this little... What else do we have as loot? Iron. You can only sleep at night just some storms. Respawn set. So I'm assuming if I die, I'm going to respawn that location. Did they just... Did they just... That is cool. Are they all just going nuts because I'm ringing the bell? That is it. I love that. That is a cool little sound effect there. Oh, that is, imp that is amazing. It's cute. So let's go and just... Yeah, that is impressive. So let's go F1 to hide all that type of stuff. Q down and get ourselves a lovely little screenshot there. That is so why are these guys all on? Oh, I can trade. Oh, I can trade with you. One for redstone dust. Oops, nope. You're not, you're not kidding that. So, can I come into here? So what's in here? So brewing station. So this guy obviously doesn't have a job. But I love the little hats I've got. And no way. I was going to say, brewing something. That would be incredible if you could brew. What? Should we just make that sound effect? We've got a little table on this one here. What else do we have hiding in these little villages? A good amount of bread, I've got to say. Little, little donkey there. We've got some little bigger huts over here. If they have significant meaning to them or not. Nope, little brewing stand in there. What do we have in this one? Brewing stand in there. Oops, little mishap there. So what does the greyness mean? Like mussy. Some bread. Some lovely... Solid blocks there, or whatever you call it, and the little, the little compost, I think it's called. So, so the little compost. What else can I chuck in this? Can I chuck saplings in there? Now, I, I like that. That's cool. That is a cool little addition of composters. That means it. And. So, what does blast furnaces do? So, if I put coal in there and some coal stone, it doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah, that's, that's heaps quicker. That is heaps quicker than a normal furnace. So, you can no longer make s s stone. Very interesting. I'm liking this quite a bit. So, do they add a little detail to the top? That'd be quite cool with the little funnel coming out the top there. But I'm just rambling on at this stage because this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible, these little village update. I haven't discovered any bees yet because I'm pretty sure that's in the 1.15 update because Hermitcraft has just started season 7 on that there. But I'm going to I'm gonna steal this. 
and I'm going to replace it with my little one that can go there. That will do. And yeah, it's becoming dark. So since it's becoming dark, these little fellas should start wandering into their little beds. And when they do, then we can, well, we can end off the episode here in this lovely little village. It's so cute. And let's just ring, ring that lovely little bell. So you're a clerk, you're a clerk. Is there any farmers around? Because it'd be cool to try with them. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching this little episode here. Watch all these little fellas hop into their beds. If they hop into their beds or not. Nah. Okay, let's just run around. It's getting dark. Hop into your beds before you get eaten. I like that, that they hop into their beds. That is quite cute. Can I hop into the bed with them? Oops, I don't wanna, I don't wanna kick you out of your bed. Hop back in. I think that's cute that they hop into their bed. I'll make this, my, this is temporary in my house. And I wanna hop into bed and enjoy my sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next morning and in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching.